Today we are going to make a quick update to this uh, video here that I posted a long time ago. Um, here I'm showing three different uh, add-ons for uh, SRCDS, so we're going to concentrate on SRCDS again. And the reason is because uh, this uh, video is old and uh, the add-ons are also old and some of them or all of them uh, won't work anymore. If you see here, uh, to the most discussed add-on is uh, this add-on, and it is removed, and I can't think find a working link for it, and it will probably not work anyway. Uh, so <coughs> instead of this uh, mod here, you can use uh, this add-on, and uh, this add-on is hosted on GitHub. Uh, in sources, so you will need to compile it yourself against your source mod installation. Uh, and to download from GitHub, you can click the download zip f uh, button. And to <coughs> to compile, you will need some uh, dependencies, and here they are: some libraries and uh, some configs. And this one is optional. And you can find them here, and I will, I will post links to them. Okay. So, okay, you will need, uh, of course, meta mod and source mod to get source mod running, and then you need to have these uh, li libraries and uh, all those files. So, we open up my C drive where I have my SRCDS installed in CS strike and then we're going to first we're going to install Metamod that's how we do that we drag it in to CS strike and then we take source mod And we drag those folders into C strike, and then it will ask me if I want to replace the folders, and then I will say yes. Do it to all the folders, and then for the libraries, we go into the library master folder, and uh, then we have. If you go into source mod, you will see the game data and the scripting folder. Take those folders and then drag them out and into the source mod and do replace for all the folders. And then we have this install and for yes. uh, you have an include and an uh, and the SP file go into add-ons source mod sc scripting. Here you have all the SP files, drag and drop, and then in the include folder in the scripting folder, you drag and drop the autoexec config dot inc file. Okay, so now we have the autoexec and the for the dhox we are going to add-ons now uh, add-ons okay source mode we can drag and drop the source mode folder here and in the source mode it will ex some install some extensions and some scripting okay the hooks and now for the for the add-on that we want to compile uh, we are going into a source mode and then we have the configs, game data, scripting and translations and you can find them those folders in the in your source mode folder. So take all those, drag and drop them into the source mode folder. Replace all and then I'm going to search for my command window 
command talk command window and then I open up my <laughs> sheet document here uh, then we go cd into the scripting folder in the source one folder and then we can start compiling I'm going to do some of those and then I'm going to pause the video and then I'm going to compile again as you can see it will compile those for you so I'm going to pause here I done <coughs> I compiled all those files here and then we need to make a folder that I will show you what we are going through is in the command window first and then I'm going to show you where uh, where we made that uh, folder if you go to the uh, source mod scripting upgrades in here you will see a new folder called compiled that folder uh, we made with this command and in here we are going to run the we are going to run the compile on some of the upgrades and the upgrades will then be placed in the in the up, in the compiled uh, folder so I'm going to do compile all those files here and then I'm coming back when I'm going to install all the add-ons I think I compiled uh, all the files now <coughs> so what we're going to do now is to install the add-ons into source mode and uh, then we're going to we can go into the upgrades folder in the, the compiled folder and then we take can take all the files in here cut or uh, uh, copy them into source mod plugins and paste them in here and then we go back to the source mod scripting and compiled here compiled and we take those files and into the plugins and paste them in there and then after that uh, we so we go back to source mode and configs and then we have uh, databases uh, we need to add an entry here for the database to be used otherwise if we uh, reconnect or uh, to the server uh, the server want to remember what uh, uh, upgrades we had take uh, this part here and paste it in to the databases and I'm going to uh, post or uh, post all those uh, commands under the video so you can copy them from there and then you can uh, paste them to your command window and into here so and we can cl close here now uh, uh, now and then I can start uh, start this server if uh, the server is running and if we are uh, if we ru are running a command here called sm plugins list 
you will see that this add-on is loaded and the upgrades for these add-ons too so I'm going to here okay here we are in the game and I'm going to connect to my local uh, server here and then we can see if it works and I have already configured this server so <coughs> when I connect here free bots will uh, uh, also connect okay did they did connect and as you can see here we have the the stats what level I am in how much credits I have tells me that I'm that I can use the the menu now I will try that and then I have the menu and I have five credits and I can buy upgrades here I did buy some upgrades now so that's how it works okay thanks for watching bye